हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर नेक्स्ट सेशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड नाइन्थ सब्जेक्ट इंग्लिश एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कवर द पोएम द लेक ऑफ इसली ऑफ इनिस्प्री बाय विलियम बटलर इट्स विलियम बटलर इट्स इज वाइडली कंसिडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट पोएट ऑफ ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरी ही वॉज बॉर्न इन डब्लिन आईलैंड एंड रिसीव एन एजुकेशन इन बोथ डब्लिन एंड लंडन William Butler Yeats is generally considered as one of the 20th century's key English poets. He was a symbolic poet because he used allusive imagery and symbolic structure throughout his career. Yeats chose words carefully and assembled them brilliantly in his poetry. In addition to a particular meaning, they suggest other abstract thoughts that seem more significant. In December 1923, Yeats was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature for his always inspiring poetry which is a highly artistic and give expression to spirit of a whole nation. So students let's start the poem with the introduction. So this poem is a lyric it is a musical poem. It explores the poet's longing for the peace and tranquility of Innisfree a place where he spent lot of time as a boy. Innisfree is the name of a place it is a very quiet place and that is the reason the poet wants to go there he had spent his childhood in this place and he has a very sweet memory of that place that is why he wanted to go back to the lake of island of innisfree so here the main theme of the lake isli of innisfree is the harmony between the man and nature So let's continue the poem with first stanza I will arise and go now and go to Innisfree and a small cabin built there of clay and waffles made nine bean rows will I have there a hive for honey bee and I live alone in the bee loud clay So here the poet goes on to describe the life that he will lead in Innisfree on that island At Innisfree he will build a small cabin of clay and wattles made there he will completely self sufficient as he will plant the nine bean rows and build a beehive and live alone in the glade loud and with the sounds of bees so the poet's vision is here idyllic timeless way of life he imagines living in a peace and solitude where the only sounds will be those of nature So I here refer to the poet William Yeats he says that he wants to go to Innisfree over there he will build a ro- small room for himself with a clay and small sticks which are used to make the walls or fences of the cabin as he will need some food to eat also he will grow nine rows of beans near his room also he will get the honey from the honey bee he says that open space where he will build his room will be full of buzzing sounds of bees and over there he will live all alone in peace and tranquility next stanza and i shall have some peace there for peace comes dropping slow dropping from the waves of the morning to where the cricket sings their midnight soul glimmer and noon a purple glow and evening full of linnets wings Whales means a piece of fine material worn by women to protect or hide the face and cricket is one type of insect linnet is a small brown and gray bird with a short beak and glimmer means something which is shiny so in this stanza the poet says that when in any spree he will feel peaceful and he says that feeling of peace is felt slowly and gradually he describes how he would feel peaceful In the morning time when it is cloudy and view is not very clear then it will appear as if the morning has worn away and has hidden itself looking at this scene will make him feel peaceful further he says that when the male cricket insect will sing a song that sounds will bring him at peace also at midnight when he will see the twinkling stars in the open sky their shine will give him peace In the afternoon when the sunlight will give a purplish glow it will also give him peace During the evening when he will see the linnet bird flying in the sky then also he will feel peaceful 
so here eats became so involved with the idea of this peaceful paradise that the future tense is abundant and he uses the present tense instead so he imagine himself in the island of inisfri and he tells us that he will have peace there the next stanza i will arise and go now for always night and day i hear the lake water lapping with low sound by the shore while i stand on the roadways or on the pavement gray i hear it in the deep hearts core so the vision of the peaceful place is so powerful that each again once again says that i will arise and go so in this stanza the poet says that now he will stand up and go to the in his spray because all the time the sound of lake waters striking the shores repeat in his mind this sound attracts him toward the lakes wherever he is either standing on the roadways or on the gray colored pavement he hears the sounds deep in the innermost part of his heart so he here declares against that he will arise and go to in his spray for always night and day he hears this lake water lapping with low sounds by the sea shore so while he is standing in the city on the roadways or on the pavement gray he is continuously hearing the sounds within himself so this colorless gray of pavement seems very scary and depressing and it is yearning for the lake of isle of inisfri a yearning he feels in the deep heart core so students the uh, short summary of this poem is the message which the poet wants to your express is the familiar desire in the modern world to escape to achieve peace and solitude to be at one with nature the poet is reminding of his past his boyhood when he visited the peaceful lake isle of inisfri he wants to go there and say that he will live there all alone he wants to build a small cabin with clay and what live he would grow beans and get honey bees hive for honey to survive on again the poet describes the peaceful nature surrounding of the lake he says that the scene of cloudy morning the shining stars the glowing sun the birds flying in the sky give him peace he feel relaxed to hear the pleasant sounds of the cricket songs the poet feel the urgency to go to lake of isle of inisfri in the depth of his heart he can hear the sound of lake water hitting the shores it is as if the lake is calling him he hears the sounds everywhere either on the crowded road or the gray colored pavement of the city in which he lives this indicates that he want to escape from the artificial life of city into a peaceful surrounding of nature thank you students Stay safe stay healthy and stay learning